for a hundred years. So the song indeed was a powerful instrument and bulwark of defence for the Irish nation. And um, unlike many European nations, we could not memorialise our heroes and patriots in great monuments of stone. Our monuments are in our music. They're in our songs, they're in our literature. And they could never be taken away from the Irish people, but they cost nothing except the lips of those who would sing and the ears of those who would listen. So our songs and our music indeed say a great deal about our country and our people, our political and social life over hundreds of years. And the wonderful thing about it is that it's a great source of historical information. And um, I say this um, many times, you were in Cambridge in England before we came over here, and I play it many times, I explain to people, there's nothing in Irish song that is directed at the people of England. It's directed at their army, the landlords, the politicians, but nothing indeed to the people of England. And indeed, uh, given the facts of history over the last uh, six or eight hundred years, it's a remarkable uh, fact that most, indeed, of the songs and ballads are a mockery. And they say uh, very little indeed in, in, an, in an ethnic uh, way. So tonight I want to remind you in this next song that is um, a song that pays tribute to our volunteers, the men who def defended our country, um, the men who defended indeed our traditions. Um, successive governments in London singing Irish tradition of music and indeed of language of no value. Well, many people in Ireland sought to, lead, to defend those traditions of language, literature, and indeed music. And tonight I want to pay a tribute to those volunteers in this next song. And that's a ballad that I'm very proud to say I've sung all my life. And it's a ballad called The Buyers of the Old Brigade. Yeah!
close to my heart. It was written by a man from Belfast, Paddy McGuigan, and um, I've been singing, as I said, most of my life. And um, here from Niall now, the 